I just wanted to ask you about your enthusiasm for, uh, for silver pasture. Okay, yeah. so I've had a long-term interest in how we can bring trees into our farmed environment. I think farmers tend to think of trees sitting in woods over there and the, you know, never the, ne they'll never come into their own fields. So we're, we're doing a number of things at Eastbrook. Uh, we've got some, some areas that are like an extended orchard, so 10 metre spacing between the rows of trees or the circles of trees and understory of uh, soft fruit underneath those and a whole variety of different things going on there. And that's an environment that's really suitable for combinations with poultry, for instance. Um, and then on a bigger scale, uh, we are growing peri pears um, interspersed with either willow and alder or sea buckthorn. Um, and that we use that to graze the cattle between. So we can sort of mob stock the cattle uh, in the blocks between the trees. So we're using high tensile electric wire to create those blocks, roughly one, one hectare blocks. Um, and actually this year, for the first time, we're starting to pasture crop between uh, the tree blocks as well. Um, in other areas, we're putting in browsing blocks, so um, mixtures of uh, willow and poplar, um, which will allow the, the cattle or other stock into, uh, when it's re reasonably young, because they'll sort of naturally pollard it, um, and uh, to provide shade and shelter for them. Um, and then in other areas, we're doing uh, more random clumps of trees out in the fields um, so that we can create those iconic single species uh, and at the end of the day, those kind of individual trees, that sort of parkland effect where, uh, again, animals, which animals really enjoy. And we're a very livestock based farm. We really, we recognize that as we go into, you know, these hotter summers, our dairy cows in particular, but all our animals will benefit so much if they've got that shade and, and shelter. And, uh, and up on our hills, actually, with more cover, it's easier to outwinter as well um, if you've got those kind of living barns. Um, alongside that, you've got all the benefits of the biodiversity, the carbon sequestration, the soil stabilization, um, the lifting of, of nutrients from deeper down um, in the soil profile. Uh, so, so many benefits of actually bringing uh, trees into our fields. Um, it's like three-dimensional farming, and if you get it right, the overall yield per acre is much higher than if you've just got the trees or just got the crop. Um, so, silver pasture, the grassland and trees, seems to be one of the best ways to draw down carbon, um, and it gives a good life uh, to our farm livestock too. So, uh, really excited, wish I'd been able to do this. 20 or 30 years ago because we'd be in a better position than we are today but at least what we plant now will be there for the next generation. That's fantastic. Just one quick question. The willow and poplar for example, um, is that something which you would then harvest and use the products of for something else for afterwards for timber or for? So the, the willow and poplar is specifically for animal use so that the animals can browse it but of course you could let it go and, and use it for biomass or for timber or whatever you want to um, so it's got multiple options um, but we're, we've put it in specifically because uh, we want the animals to have access to it in a dry summer or for shade perhaps but particularly for nutrient um, you know supplementation there's also a lot of interest around willow um, as a uh, high tannin product with, which it may well help cut methane production from animals which is one of the big climate change challenges around livestock um, so yes we will be using you know in places we'll be using the wood in different ways uh, we're also putting in native uh, woodland blocks of woodland as well which you know can have animals longer term but probably for not not for another 15 years or so so we're doing all sorts of different things and exploring the economic opportunities that are coming out of the bits of woodland we have already got how we can use those um, as well and make a living from them